welcome to Christmas Connections. Yep, Christmas Connections <laughs> with a psychic medium, Tony Green, on Christmas Day. If you celebrate Christmas, and I believe most of the people here watching do, Merry Christmas. If you don't, if you celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or any other holiday, happy that. Happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. I'm kind of a little bit in the Christmas garb here for those of you who could not. <laughs> you obviously see it. Um, but I should seriously do this on every show because I don't have to worry about my hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are going to get started. I want to say hello to everybody in YouTube land, in the chat. Thank you so much for being here. Um, <coughs> I, I swallowed some air down the wrong pipe. Um, so everybody in YouTube, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you were on um, Blog Talk, if you did call in and you were on Blog Talk, did they let you stay on uh, or did they kick you? Did, did I mean, when I hung up, it probably kicked you off, but I'm so, I'm so sorry, everybody. I am really sorry about that. Let's get started. Okay. So today we won't be having call in. Hopefully that will be back next week um, or what's today, Monday, by Wednesday. They told me that their problems were fixed over the weekend, but apparently, apparently not so much. Okay. Um, real quick, I'll never reach out to anybody, tell them they need, need anything. So please don't get scammed. My website is T O N I G dot I N F O. That's that's where you go. If you want a reading, if you want to schedule a reading, a healing, a hypnosis, if you want to find out where I'm going to be doing events, that's where you go. And guess what? I'm doing an event in Daytona, February 2nd, February 2nd in Daytona. Um, yes, I want to say um, if you are in the area, please join. Go ahead and join. It is at the Cinematique. Um, man, when that blog talk isn't there, it really throws off my intro. Not that I have a set intro, but it really throws it off. So here we go. I'm going to scroll back first. Okay. Names and then, uh, songs and then, um, I'll take connections and questions, um, from everybody in the chat. So if, um, if I miss you, please repost your question and I'll be happy to answer it. Okay. So, uh, first I'm going to do songs because that's, that's what I'm hearing. So the first song is I'm all out of love. I'm a lot of love. And this song has come through before. Now, remember songs can be the answer to a question. They can be the, um, it could be a song the person on the other side listened to or a song you listen to or listen to together, but the song should have meaning somehow or another. If the song's for you, you're going to know, like the song, for example, I'm all out of love might mean, listen, you don't really love this person anymore. It's time to move on. And then I heard a name after that, and I don't want to say it. <laughs> you don't really love this person any longer. It's time to move on and start something new. And I'm going to just say this really quick before I go to the next songs. When you, <laughs> it's you, it's you. <laughs> You know it's you, Heather. <laughs> Heather typed in, say it. <laughs> and I'm like, it's you, Heather. They're saying your name. <laughs> um, okay. 
Um, when we're no longer like we may have love for a person, but we're not in love for that person, but we're staying because we feel badly, like we don't want to hurt that person. Could you imagine, just imagine if you will, somebody saying to you, I stayed because I didn't want to hurt you. That, that is the biggest insult in the world. It, it truly is. Although we know we're trying to be compassionate and empathetic. Um, yeah, that is, that is a huge, yeah. Um, and then the, what I always tell people is if you, you at one point thought this person was shiny and new and good, let somebody else have their turn of thinking this person is shiny and new and good. Don't warn them and let them go on and find somebody on their frequency and you go on and find somebody on your frequency or be by yourself. But either way, okay, I'm all out of love is the first song. So that's how that could meet. Um, the next song uh, is that... Uh, this song always comes through and I try not to sing it, but it's the song they brought in. Dun, 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 To the window, to the wall, till sweat dropped on those, till all these crawl. <laughs> I'm, I'm editing myself. I'm not letting the words come out as I go. I'm totally like bleeping out the, the naughty words. <laughs> <laughs> that song um i was hearing last night like jerry lee lewis somebody who really loved jerry lee lewis and i can't i don't wouldn't even be able to come up with the songs from jerry lee lewis the next song is um okay that's fair all i want for christmas is my two front teeth and then the next song is, um, it goes, I, I think this song has been on here before too. Um, da na 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 live and let die. I don't know, live and let something. I think it's live and let die or live and let something. And then the next song is, um, It's it, okay. It's not a song. It's a like a genre of song. It's anything polka. Now this might just be a grandparent or a parent, I guess, coming through. And then the next thing I'm hearing is um, Dolly Part Parton Parton Dolly Parton. I always know how to say her name until this very moment. What? Um, stumble out of bed and stumble in the kitchen. Pour myself a cup of ambition. Something, something, something. Working nine to five. So see, I have to, if I sing enough of the song, I can get to the main verse. <laughs> and then no, it's working nine to five. That's the song. Um, and then the next song is, oh, anything Journey. Um, I'm hearing Journey and REO Speedwagon were it. That was it. That was it. And I feel like it's a woman with um, brown hair and she was thinner coming through. Well, darker hair than mine, which is not difficult. And she was coming through. So that is uh, anything Journey, <clears throat> anything Ario Speedwagon. Uh, and then I'm hearing her say, it's a love fest. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we're going to go to names, and the name can be your name, one of your people's names, or the name of the person who is on the other side trying to connect with you. So the first name I'm hearing is, um, the, okay, the first name I'm hearing Mike 
than Joe, but like Joe could be Joanne or Joe or Grandpa Joe. And then the next name I'm hearing is Beverly. The next name I'm hearing is, I don't know if I can say this. It's either Sinquita or Chinquita. Just saying what I'm saying. I'm just simply saying what I'm saying. And I don't know how to say that. The next name is um, Edwin. And the next name is, Brianne, the next name is Gerard, the next name is Diane, the next name is D, D-E-E, -E. that might not be the full name, that might just be sh short for something, D, the next name is uh, Lovey, <laughs> and Okay, I don't know if these two are connected, but I hear lovey, and then I see a white, like, cockatoo, or a white parrot, or a, some kind of white bird, okay, it's, but it's in a, like, in a cage, okay, and I hear the name lovey, but I don't, again, I don't know if those two are connected, but they might be, they could be, they could be separate, and then the next name I'm hearing is, um, I don't know if I already said this, but Jerome, and the next name I'm hearing is Nancy, and the next name I'm hearing is Michelle, and the next name I'm hearing is, uh, serious, Matilda, 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 um, and the reason I say, and the next name I'm hearing is so that it, the name can come in while I'm saying that, and I know that's probably very annoying for many of you, Anne, and then Lucy, and th this might be Luci Luciano, Luciano, okay, and then uh, in in it, in Enrique, I think it's Enrique. It looks like Enrique. Um, any other? I'll take two more names. Mary, one more name, Jason. Okay, those are the names that I'm hearing today. Now, songs will come through as we're going, and I'm really going to try to take my time and work with each question in the chat today. And again, I want to apologize that uh, blog talk is down again. Normally, I would alternate questions in the chat with oh, with um, calls and unfortunately for the past couple of shows I've not been able to do that but we've made it through we've been strong we have made it through um, somebody just posted uh, Elizabeth posted Nancy that's my nanny oh and the polka music and Dolly Parton could be nanny and my grandparents talking it's a love fest um have a wedding coming up in a couple of weeks congratulations that is so so amazing congratulations i and thank you for confirming that thank you um okay uh Okay, so now I'm just going to go through and get questions and try to stay on track. And um, yes, that's what I'm going to try to do. Okay, so I'm going to start more toward the top. Hi, Laura, how are you? Okay, so thank you guys so much for being here. It is Christmas Connection. So if you want to connect with a loved one, the name of the loved one their relationship to you. And if you have a specific question for them, please put it in the chat. I'm happy to take it. Oh, you know what I did last week that I can do again this week? Yep. Okay. So you guys, if you want to call in and ask a question, we'll do this. First, I'm going to do, yeah, I completely spaced on that. Thank you. Um, Rebecca wants to know a message from my mother, Rachel for my niece, Ariana. 
So your mother was, um, I see a woman and, and Rebecca, please comment to let me know if I have the right woman here. I see a woman who had olive skin and dark hair and she was refined. Those are the three words that I'm hearing. The message I'm hearing for Ariana or Ariana is, um, how old is your niece? How old is your niece? And Re Rebecca said, yes, yes, that's that's her mother. How old is your niece right now? How old is Ariana or Ariana? Um, she's 20. That makes a lot of sense. That makes, okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, that's, thank you so much because um, she is going to be, This message is a little bit weird for me, but she is going to be the matriarch of her family. So whatever that means for her and her family um, will make sense. Also, she needs to pursue, and I'm just saying what I'm hearing. She needs to pursue self employment. She has a very unique personality and she may have difficulty um, always taking and like having a boss or letting other piece, people boss her, which, which would make sense if she's going to be the matriarch of the family. She's going to be basically the boss of the family. Um, <laughs> so I think um, what I'm hearing is she will be the most successful. Uh, she, and Rebecca says, yes, she is like that. And that's not an insult, believe it or not. Um, that's not an insult. She will be happiest when she starts her own thing and she's running it and she watches it like get bigger and bigger and bigger. And she kind of already knows what she wants to work with or what she wants to do. She and, and she just needs to start that. And remember, she doesn't have to look at that as though that's the forever after thing. I know the most successful people in the world, they start with one business and they get that up and running. And when that's managing, they can start another one. So you start here and then you can start an add-on to that business and an add-on or a completely different business, but you just make them self-sufficient. And I feel like she has the ability with the right mindset to start her own thing and really take off with it. Okay, if you'd like to call in, I'm going to take a first caller, one caller at a time. Whoever calls in first is 414-897-2869. Um, and we'll just use my phone today to do uh, calls to take calls. So whoever calls in first, um, we're going to have that be the number that this be the number that we use for calls today. So if somebody wants to call in and ask a question, the call in number is 414-897-2869. And Miss Mystic Raven, thank you so much. Thank you for that so much. Okay, I'm going to go until somebody else calls in. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the next person. Um, I'm going upward, by the way, so I apologize. Um, Elizabeth wants to know any messages from my grandparents and great aunt, uncle. Okay, Elizabeth, can you please put w at least one of their names in the chat? Because I like to have that direct connection. And if you have an, a specific question about something going on in your life, if you could put that in the chat also, that would be Wonderful. 
um, and then I'll, um, um, it was your grandparents and someone else, um, Sue and Nancy. Okay. 518. Hold on, Elizabeth. 518. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Laura Waters. I'm from New York. Hey, Laura, can you hold on one second while I just give Nancy her message? Of course. <laughs> the show is going to be a little bit chaotic today, but with patience, we can all do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is say, okay, um, or I'm giving Elizabeth her message from apparently Nancy. Okay, Elizabeth, the first thing that they want to say to you, and there's like five, seven, I see seven, but there's a lot more people here than that for you, Elizabeth. You have quite quite the crew on the other side. Now, when I say that, we have not only our grandparents, but all of their siblings and their parents and their siblings. So it goes, oh. it goes on. So Elizabeth, the first message that I'm getting for you is that don't um there's they're singing that song don't stop believing which cracks me up but it also tells me that you might be losing faith in something so don't lose faith in something because you're about to turn the corner whatever you've been working on you're about to turn the corner and it's going to be right there or you're going to get to the corner and it's going to run into like you know you're going to meet with it at the corner. So please, by all means, keep going. You're going to be amazed at what comes next. Um, and I feel like by mid-January, you're going to have the answer that you're looking for. And that's going to be amazing for you. Okay, Elizabeth, um, Elizabeth I hope that that was helpful. And they, they also want to say Merry Christmas and they love you. Okay, so we're at 518. 518, I am so sorry. Can you please give me, I know you're from New York. What's your name again? Laura. Laura, thank you so much. How can I help you today, love? I, I was hoping for a message from my son or my father. Um, it's been a couple hard years. I wrote this in the chat also, but um, it's, I started with a divorce and then I got into a very abusive relationship during that time my son passed away and I feel like my life has just been flipped upside down and I don't know how to get out of it so I'm just okay. I'm hoping for some guidance yeah one well, I'm like I want to cry for you right now and I'm going to try really hard not to because I can feel it you're like looking so hard for the answer. And what we're going to start with right here right now is I'm going to clear you and everybody else. I'm just going to make sure we're clear. I get a yes. We're unclear. I get a no. And that, that um, I get a yes. And that should be a no. Huh. <laughs> so we're going to start there. And we're going to start clearing that. The next thing I'm getting is I'm going to ask the question, your meaning you and anybody listening or watching and I get a yes and we're going to clear that one of the things I'm getting for you is you're really afraid to you're uh, how do I explain this the way I would just say it point blank is you're afraid to move forward but we we all know we're not afraid to move forward we're afraid as soon as we take that step forward something's going to come in and and like um Rip it all out from underneath. Yes, again. Th yes thank you. Exactly. So, so we're going to clear that. We're going to clear that, that we are, we think, no, feel, believe we are safe. We are uh, um, protected. I get a no. And when we go through something abusive, whether it's emotional, psychological, physical, it's very difficult to believe that we are safe and that we can be safe again. But we're going to clear that. And the last thing I'm going to clear for you is... Um, and this is really, you're going to go, no, 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 but you have let go of all of this and we're going to clear heal this for you and everybody listening. We have let go of the past and what ends up happening is we think we let go of it just because we got to the next day, just because we arrived at the next day, just because we're not thinking of it 24 seven, just because we feel like we have forgiven those people. But there's a part of us and it's a survival mechanism that has us holding on to it. 
Because yes. as long as we hold on to it, we won't repeat it. And and it's quite the opposite. So we're going to clear all of this. And I feel this clearing from my throat, from my chest, from the back of my head, head the bottom of my skull, online, uh, in the chat. Anybody who feels this, please, please uh, let me know where you're feeling it. And Laura, are you feeling it? And where are you feeling it? Um, going down, from starting at the top of my skull, going down my back. Yeah. So that's pulling all of this off of your back because that's where you've been carrying it. You've yes, been carrying I, I it. I have back spasms from all the tension that I carry in my back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. The first thing your son, I'm sorry, what's your son's name, love? William. William. The first thing that he wants to say, says, I'm sorry about that. How old was he when he passed? 16. Okay. Thank you. The first thing he wants to says, why does it come out that the first thing he wants to say is he's sorry. He's so sorry. Um, he, so what he's saying, if one thing had gone different, everything would be different. That's the statement I'm hearing and I get goosebumps on that. If one thing had gone different, everything would be different. Yes. I feel like he made a choice, and that choice led to where what happened next. Okay. He was hit by a car on the 4th of July. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Um, and again, He made a choice, and whether that choice was to go out, maybe he had, I, I, I'm I, getting this, like, tickling on the top of my head even. Maybe he had thought I should leave a little sooner or later, and then he didn't listen. Whatever it is, I don't want to say this too much because I also believe in destiny and things happen as they're supposed to. Yes. That year for you... And I'm going to say it the way I'm hearing it. So please, people, don't, don't think I'm insensitive. When I channel, emotion doesn't always come through. Um, That's okay. I understand. Thank you. Um, that year was the closing out of many cycles for you. It was the ending of one period of your life that was going to lead into another period of life that was supposed to be a little bit different than what you are experiencing. When people go, it's very difficult for us to see the joy and the happiness in that because we are left with the sadness and the pain of that. In this case, in this instance, the suffering, although, although I'm trying not to channel this message because I can just, I can feel it in myself, not even wanting to take this message. <sighs> Although it is a human reaction to be very sad and sorrowful when you lose someone, you should also rejoice in the fact that they have moved on to a happier place where they're, they are no longer with the weight of the world, although they are with you in every moment. Part of their moving up and elevation is to help you to recover and to be in that space of knowing that they are good and you are good and it's okay to be okay. That doesn't mean you're never going to have another sad moment. That doesn't mean you're never going to be in a space of despair over this. What that does mean, however, is that once you find that joy and that lust for life again, we're going to clear that now. Anything stopping or blocking that is now being pulled for you, from you, for you. You will be able to connect with your loved one on the other side without any help from anyone else. When your loved one is on the other side, they elevate higher and higher. 
And as they elevate, you should elevate also so that you can keep in that solid connection. If you are in a very deep, uh, sorrowful state, they do communicate with you, but it's difficult for you to hear it um, or to feel it because of the sorrow, which is very normal. That's me. It's, it's very normal. It's very yeah. normal. <sighs> Once you are in this space of elevating yourself and understanding, then you may be able to connect very clearly and easily with your loved one and hear those messages as thoughts in your mind from them. One of the biggest things he wants to say to you today is, of course, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And he's using the statement. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he's saying... Let's whoop it up. Let's whoop it up. <laughs> he wants you to whoop it up. And he says, um, in one month, it will be safe for you to love again. The work oh. that is being done here, please come back and listen to it every day. It was probably at like the 28 minute mark of the show. Please come back and listen to it. Pull everything out of you. And then in one month, you'll be ready to start. Uh, it doesn't mean jump in, you know, uh, pan, you know, jump in and jump on. It yeah. means you can start talking to people again and understand um, and 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 move forward. But you'll see the red flags this time. You'll understand right away and don't give anybody the benefit of the doubt um and don't give anybody a second chance listen they're lucky they got their first chance with you if they blew that that's on them okay just know that we are here here's something i want to say to my men and women we are all full-grown adults here we know how to treat i'm gonna tell you something i have a lot of nieces of all different age ranges, they know how to treat people. And some of them are as young as um, 10 <clears throat> and, uh, and up. But even when they were five, they knew how to treat people. They knew how to behave towards people. They knew if what they were saying was hurtful or not. Yes. If my nieces or nephews, I have also a lot of nephews, if they know that, full grown people know that also. So if somebody does something, it's not that they didn't know, okay? They knew. They knew what they were saying was hurtful. They knew what they were doing was hurtful. They were willing to take that chance or, and most importantly, show you who they really are. To let that just slip like, let me see if I can do this and get away with it. And right. if they do get away with it, it's not the last time. It's the first time because people are creatures of habit. If they do it once, it's it's not like they just let something slip. This is their normal behavior starting to come out and just watch for those signs. Okay. In about a month, you're going to be ready to get back out there and start talking to people and getting back into life. Whew and getting back into life and it's okay to do that it's okay now i say this and please everybody um understand this the way it's meant if the tables were turned and your loved one was left behind and you were up there you would not want them unless you're i can't say the N-A-R-C word online anymore, but unless oh you're God. one of those, <laughs> you want the people left behind to be happy and to go on with their life and to, to live their life to the fullest, right? Right. And it, unless you're, um, anyway, I say that word, they're going to know. So I, I'm not going to say that, but that's what they want for us also. They really want us to be in that space. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, don't be, don't be. Merry Christmas, baby dog. Um, 
So no matter what. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so Neighbors what, coming for over. So sorry. That's okay. So the biggest thing that they want you to know is it's okay to live again. And in about a month, when all of this is pulled away, you're going to feel it and you're going to know and you're going to be able to move forward. And don't feel guilty for living because you would want your son to do the same thing, okay? Yes, thank you so much. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for, for calling in and thank you so much for connecting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Tony. Merry Christmas and oh, many blessings to you. Merry Christmas. And if I don't catch you, gift. if I, thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Thank you. And if I don't catch you next Monday, Happy New Year also. You too. Thanks so much. Thank Bye. you. Okay, I'll be ready to take another caller in a second. Um, there are so many people coming in. Thank you so much. Uh, Rosa Lee, hello. Um, Amy, Eva, hi. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Um, Amy Rich, Welcome to the show. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm going to go up and try to answer another question. If you would like to call in today, I'm so truly sorry that blog talk is down again and it's making it a little different, but we've got this. We've got it. 414-897-2869. Uh, Mystic Raven is saying happy holidays to everyone. Um. I'm, I'm just kind of going through. If you'd like to call in, that's the number to call in to. Uh, thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca, um, a week ago, Monday, I did a show where I channeled. I just did, I just went into this channeling and uh, Rebecca said it was um, beautiful. Yeah, I have to go back and listen to that again because even I, even I have like that. Uh, that feeling when I listen to it, I get that feeling too. Okay, Laura. Hello, Laura. I think I just talked with you, Laura. Heather, Patrick, Merry Christmas. Um, okay. I think that's everybody. Kate, Merry Christmas. Okay, if you'd like to call in, the call in is... Um, 414-897-2869. Go ahead, call in, say Merry Christmas to friends and family. Go ahead and call in and um, connect with a loved one on the other side. Um, here's what I am going to say. Some careers that are going to be really big in 2024. If you start them now, and I feel like, here's what I feel like, anybody wanting to start a business, there are going to be a ton of, um, a ton of grants that are going to open up in January for people who want to start their own business. But even if you don't take a grant, Amy, I'm getting to you now. Um, even if you don't take a grant, you will be able to make your business work. So the businesses that I'm seeing that are going to be huge are, again, any business that has anything to do with private events in any way. And even if somebody wants to have like, um, a, um, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. Okay, first I'm going to take Amy and then I'm going to talk about that. Hey, Amy, how are you? Hi, Tony. Hey, what's going on? <clears throat> oh, not much, but I, I got COVID for Christmas. Oh, well, Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> I know, Merry Christmas to me. Um, <clears throat> so I guess my question is, I feel like it's the same old question, but I feel like I'm closer and so I don't know if there's anything else to clear on it. Um, I, I'm, my question is, am I any closer to my financial sustainability or maybe even financial abundance? Okay, that's a really good question. And right now with the way the economics are, what I'm going to do is, I, and thank you for calling in and doing this because now we get to do a um, some Christmas clearings 
for finances. And what I'm getting is this is in the mind. So um, all has healed in the mind for us to have the level of wealth we want. I get a no, let's clear that. And I'm instantly feeling like a little Oh, off or dizzy. I don't want to say dizzy because it's not like a spinning, but like a, a, like a, I don't know what to call it, but everybody has their level of wealth, what they believe wealth is. And if, or what they are, what they believe their comfort zone wealth is, and we are achieving our comfort zone or our wealth level. And I get a no. Now, our comfort zone is where we are. Our wealth level is where we want to be. There's something stopping or blocking us from taking us from our comfort zone to our wealth level. I get a yes. Let's clear that. And, and for some of us, it's programming. And for some of us, it is... Let's clear all old programming. And for some of us, I just keep hearing it's statements, it's statements. Now, whether these are statements we heard as a child, statements we taught ourselves or whatever it is, let's clear that. And then I'm hearing self-sabotage. So let's clear, release any self-sabotage. And this is all... You guys, it's there's very little clearing from the heart, but a ton clearing from the head. So that tells me this is all thoughts, programs, um, the way we think about money, our original. Oh, that's it. What we were originally taught about money. Let's clear that. Okay. Now, Amy, did you feel any of that? Was that? Yeah, I did feel, I did feel it. Excellent. Did anyone in the chat feel any of that? Um, if you did, please comment. Um, and Amy, I hope this is helpful. In, okay, I hear January, but then I hear January is heavy, February soft, and then March is heavy. That's like in January, you might make a little bit more. And February, it, it won't be as, um, it'll keep going. But the, okay, January into February. January is going to be here. February will stable out and then March will go up a bit. So I feel like by March, you're going to be bringing in a lot more money and having a lot more um a success with what you're doing. Okay. Just stay the course, steady the course. Okay? Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. I hope this was helpful. Love. Thanks. You are so welcome. And I hope you feel better soon. I really yeah, I feel okay. A little, a little gravelly. Uh, well, hopefully that goes away very, very soon. Yeah. Thanks. You are so welcome. Thank you for calling in. Okay. I am going to, um, there's some people in the chat that are asking questions. So I'm going to answer one or two of those questions. Uh, can I ask a quick, quick, quick question, Rosalie said, been waiting for you to be live. I know. Thank you. I'm so happy you can be here today. I'm sorry the, the chat isn't, the call-in number isn't working um, with blog talk. Sorry about that. Will I be able to travel to Paris? and Italy in January for my modeling contract. I don't know what LVMH is, but I did get modeling contract. Um, the first thing I hear, and I'm not a fear factor person, is be careful. Read all the fine print. Make sure you have somebody who knows how to read contracts. Read it. And when you're there, um, make sure that you're just being aware of your surroundings. And I'm going to say this, Rosalia, don't be trusting of people no matter who they are. Um, 
that's just what I'm getting for you. I don't like to be that person who makes, who says these things, but it's better to have the warning and to, to know not to, to be very careful with things um, than to, you know, just go in thinking everybody's just because they're part of the industry, they're safe. What I'm getting is there's somebody that is part of the industry, that's part of the party, that's part of the group that you would think would be very safe, but this person might not be so safe. So just be careful of that. Um, is it all going to happen in January? Yes, no, yes, no. I think it, is she going to Paris? Is she going to Italy? As of right now, Italy may happen in January. Um, Paris. And Paris may happen a little later or after Italy. If that makes sense to you, please comment below and let me know. Um, and, and let me know. And then um, after that, You said, uh, you said, Rosalie, you, you said, um, dealing with toxic pressurizing household and stepmom. So eagerly want to just relocate from here. Okay, here's what I'm going to say. Um, whenever you run away from something, sweetie, you end up back. You have to run to something, not from something. Okay. Um, I'm sure everyone in the chat can tell you that it's very, very difficult when we when we run away from something like a family situation, we may not have seen what we need to see. So we end up in another situation where we it's a different person, same exact circumstances. What I'm going to do for you, you and everybody listening and watching um, self-love, um, because everything that comes at us is teaching us to love ourselves unconditionally. So we unconditionally love ourselves. I get a no, let's heal, clear, release that. There's something stopping or blocking, something stopping or blocking us from loving ourselves. Yes. Now, I'm going to say this, and you guys, I hope you laugh or you comment about it. We start to lose self-love the first time we're reprimanded by our parents, even though they were reprimanding us out of love. That feeling of, uh-oh, they don't, they're not having a happy reaction to me and us taking that on is is very um strong in a, a very young child or even an older child and god bless our parents because you know nobody comes in with a book nobody gets a book nobody knows how to do what we're doing we're all just muddling through it right we're all muddling through it doing the best that we can um and we can all look back and say, well, maybe I could have handled that better. What I'm going to say is um, don't run away from where you are, especially to another country. Rather, run to something once you've made peace with situations. Okay, that's the way I want to say that for you, Rosalia. I do feel like there is a contract coming in, um, or if it's not a contract, I do feel like what you need a plan. If you're planning on relocating, you need a plan for how you're going to sustain once you're there. And make sure that plan is very, very strong. It's one thing to go to a neighboring state or to another neighborhood and then go back home. It's a whole other thing 
to go to another country. And if things don't go well, to try to get back home. So please be aware of that. Um, and I'm not trying to... Um, I'm not trying to dissuade you. Just we be realistic about everything, okay? Um, and that should um, that should be helpful for you, okay? Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Next. Who is next? Hey, Aloha, Jay. How are you? Uh, okay. Let's see. Jay Francis. How are you? I wish. I would have felt that, would love to not self Let's do self-sabotage again. Okay, we're all self-sabotage has been healed, cleared, released. I still am getting a no, let's clear that. And again, go come back and re-listen because when you come back and re-listen, you're gonna be amazed at whatever it is that you miss the first time or when you're not listening to the show you can open up to so many different things or be relaxed and let things go okay some business is coming in i started this and when amy was on the phone i went to say this and i'm going to say this again um st start a thing where you have home health parties i know last week we we talked about like home care, like home, going to people's homes and doing nails or whatever it is, care. But um, having, going into people's homes that are safe and or businesses and doing holistic care parties or galleries where people can get whatever uh, acupuncture, um, energy or group hypnosis for everybody that's going to be more I don't know why everything's coming to catering into the home but it is for some reason whatever this is it's like the next level up of posh so like so like so many people go to the uh best spa this that but the next level the next thing is to bring it into the home and not even have to go out for it so that's just what I'm getting whether you offer fillers or whatever it is it's going to the next level I don't know how to say that for some people is going to be to have people come into their home and do it so this is what I'm getting for that the other thing that I'm getting that's going to be a very, very prosperous business in 2024. And again, these are different, different areas for different people is construction, any sort of construction. And oh, here's another one that came to me last night, and it just popped in again, starting up schools, starting trade schools. If even so starting a trade school for like electric, HVAC, um, whatever it is in construction um, is going to become very, very, uh, I don't want to use a popular, but very, very um, financially good. I, my words, my words are failing me, folks. My words, they're just failing me. Um, that, that sort of thing is going to be very, very popular in 2024. So the sooner you start this, and if you already have, let's say an electrical business and piggybacking on a, a training, electrical training or HVAC training to your business and offering, um, what is that called when people go in and they, they learn as they go, um, there's a word for it, but, and then they, they, they know it, uh, go, becoming a, I'm not going to think of the word until the show is over. I'm so sorry, but whatever it is, whatever it is that you, you, even if you don't know electrical, you can start the school and run the school. You should maybe know electrical and then 
teach it to other people. So that is one of the things that's going to be very, very popular also in the upcoming years are trades, what people call trade skills. Uh, that's going to be very popular also. All right, you guys, uh, we made it through another show with no with no blog talk. I apologize to everybody on blog talk who um, who could not who called in, but I could not get on. I really apologize. Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, there are a couple names. I'm gonna leave the show getting names of loved ones from loved ones. This might be their name, your name, or somebody else's. I'm hearing the name Marilyn. I'm hearing the name Jeffrey. I'm hearing the name. I heard this earlier and I didn't want to say it, but maybe this is literally somebody's name. If it's not their name, maybe it's something they said or something they watched, but Geronimo, I... I, that just sounds whatever. Um, the next thing that I'm hearing, the next name that I'm hearing is Bob. The next name that I'm hearing is um, McCarthy. McCarthy. That's that's probably pretty much a last name. It could be a place that is there a place called McCarthy? Whatever McCarthy might mean to you. The next name that I'm hearing is. Uh, Susan, the next name that I'm hearing is Mildred, and the next name that I'm hearing is Camilla, but I, I'm seeing it as, um, that can, a Carmela, Caramella, or Camilla, or both. The next name that I'm hearing is George, and the next name that I'm hearing is, again, Enrique, and I know I said that at the beginning of the show, but just reinforcing that's still here, Eduardo, and um, Jorge, which is also George, but hearing it, Ishmael, that's a new name, Ooh, Ishmael, um, and then the next name... <laughs> And then the next name after Ishmael is um, Michelle. I, and that was at the beginning of the show also. So there's that. You guys, thank you so much. Merry Christmas. I hope you have an amazing, an amazing, an amazing day. I hope that everything uh, that, that uh, this day brings you everything that you wished. And I will be live next Monday on New Year's Day doing New Year's clearings and connections again and uh, talking about our New Year's wishes. What do we wish for the new year? I wish blog talk will be working. What do you wish? I love you all so very much. Have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.